My name is uh, Ronnie Bolkowalczyk. I'm the chief uh, commercial officer in, in uh, Ram Offshore. Uh, Ram Offshore is uh, a ship owner that today have 19 vessels. The latest one is the Ram Power. Uh, and uh, we are between wind and uh, oil and gas uh, sector. Yeah, this is uh, Ram Power, our latest uh, delivery uh, new built vessel, built at Vardse in, uh, in Norway. Uh, so it came out from delivery uh, now in May. Uh, today it's operated out from Esberg on a waterfall field for uh, also subsea uh, for interray cabling. I think the unique thing about uh, Ram Power is that this is, I will claim that this is the latest technology all over. We have the latest thruster uh, on board it with the rim thruster from Kongsberg. We have a new developed crane as we're discussing now. Uh, we have a digitalization on board it. So it makes a, a bit of game changer into the SOV market as we see it at least. Uh, my name is Ståle Fure, I'm Head of Sales at Seonex. Uh, my responsibility is all sales activities and create the sales as needed for Seonex to actually be, exist as a company. Seonex uh, is a company that uh, is delivering turnkey solutions. We have all our engineering disciplines in-house. The only thing we outsource is actually the steel production. The rest of it we do in Norway and in Gdańsk in Poland. Half of the company in Poland, half of the company in Norway. The crane on the ramp power is a 5 ton and 25 meter crane. It's fully uh, 3D compensated. It's fully electric. And this is a complete new design from us. It's on an old principle on, in a new design with a telescopic uh, and a wire luffing for the, for the, for the, for the luffing boot. When you go electric, you get a very uh, good response uh, for your axis where you're going to do the uh, compensation for. And this is actually the, one of the biggest uh, uh, advantages with electrical solution that you can get a very accurate uh, motion compensating. And of course, also to regenerate back power to the grid on the vessel, the AC grid or the DC grid, depends. Uh, and of course, there are no oil in this system at all. It's fully electric. I think the journey started on OSJ. Uh, they presented a crane and I was looking, this looked interesting. This is, where can we utilize this technology? Uh, how can we do it? And then we start yeah, discussing in between us. We have a need, we want to have this capacity, we want to have it electrical. How could you help me, Stola, to fix this? And, and then we started the ball to roll. Uh, so then we started slowly, and then when we started to order a vessel, of course that was our first choice to, to uh, take it to, to the next step. We saw that we, we need to have a higher capacity on the uh, 3D crane. We need at least a five ton. Of course, I have to ask for seven. Uh, we need to have harbor lift uh, that was higher than any crane had as a 3D crane. So this was the background. We needed to have something that was a bit higher than what we saw in the market. And that we challenged Sionix to come up with a solution for. Uh, we had a concept. But uh, together with the RAM, we actually uh, make it better. And of course, uh, uh, the, the crane got uh, higher SWL. We started with two ton, then it got three ton, then we got five ton, now we got seven ton, and we got 15 ton in harbor mode. And this is actually very good for, uh, for those kind of products. And uh, of course, uh, we are very, uh, we are very um, satisfied that RAM actually trusted us this project.